These images are all taken within a walking distance of my home, perhaps the place that I would consider the least inspiring area to photograph. It's a place that I've grown up in, a place that I've walked and explored hundreds of times, and because of that, at times can feel very mundane and very uninspiring. So I set myself a challenge to shoot a few rolls of film, all within walking distance of my house, and to try and find any inspiration. I've always wanted to live and work in America for as long as I can remember, dating back to when I first visited the States as a young kid. I can't exactly pinpoint when that fascination started or particularly why, but I've sort of always told myself that it would be so much more interesting than anywhere in England. I don't know if that's particularly true or if it's just my own desire to seek a big change of scenery and of culture, but it's always been a dream of mine and still is a dream of mine that I hope to realize as soon as I can. And when I think a little bit more deeply about it and talk with friends about it, I realize that it's the want to discover new places and new experiences that inspires a lot of my photography. A very mundane photograph of a street in New York would instantly, to me at least, be a better and more enjoyable photograph to try and take than just a street in my local area. But if a New York native was doing the same thing, would they prefer to take a photo of my local area? I think the allure of a foreign and faraway culture and place is perhaps what makes it photogenic in my mind. This challenge was an interesting one for me in that I was trying to make what I considered to be the mundane and the boring to be interesting. And I did find it really quite challenging in reality. All of the following images you're about to see were taken with my Mamiya RZ67 and the 90mm f3.5 and they were all shot on Ilford HP5. Ultimately, I think these images do a pretty good job of telling the story of my local area. They document suburban England exactly how I view it and exactly how I've seen it whilst growing up in this area. The challenge I set myself wasn't a particularly sexy or exciting one, but I do believe was a useful one in learning to just appreciate the areas that are around me. In reality, I work six days a week. I try and balance that with a social life and whilst attempting to grow this YouTube channel. And so sometimes all I have to create imagery with is my local area. And learning to appreciate that and creating photographs with that is a necessary step to developing my own work. I do have a few favorite images from the few roles that I shot. The first one being my very favorite. The depth that you can achieve with a medium format camera like the RZ67 is what makes an image like this for me. Being able to really separate that roundabout from the background just really draws your eyes in. It's the same sort of thing again for this shot, looking through a garden fence. This shot of a lost shoe sitting on top of this pole is a super simple one and I took a couple different compositions of this just playing around with making the shoe both stand out from the surroundings whilst also seeming to fit in perfectly as if it's where it belongs. And then finally this shot of the low sunlight shining through the trees mainly because it just takes me back to playing outside with friends as I grew up here and waiting to be called in for dinner as the sun was setting. 
I would recommend thoroughly trying to photograph your local area if you can, particularly if it's where you grew up. Only go where you can happily walk from your own house, visit areas that you've often visited and try and see them from a whole new perspective. And maybe you'll get a whole new appreciation for how great your local area can actually be. Or maybe you'll be even more inspired to explore new places and photograph new things. I'd say that either result is a pretty valuable experience. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one.